NHS blood and transplant produce life-saving products. Many of these products are processed at manufacturing centres, like this one in Filton. Louise works in the manufacturing department. She's going to take you on a short tour to show you where some of these products are made. Welcome to NHS BT Filton. This is manufacturing. It's one of a handful of manufacturing sites around the country. As you can see, it's quite large and it is the largest. It produces about 3,000 units per day. I'm going to be taking you on a tour and I'm going to start from the beginning at session receipt. If you follow me and I'll begin. So this is session receipt. Um, a session is where the blood is donated and given. There are many sessions taking place each day across the country where generous donors come together to give their precious gift. Once their blood has been donated, it gets loaded into one of our vans and transported across the country to one of our manufacturing centres, like this one. And this is where we sort them into their products that they're going to become and assign them a product code. And then using the donation number, everything is traceable. And we'll then from here, hang them onto this, the overhead filtration device. Every unit that's donated and arrives at a manufacturing centre first needs to be filtered to make sure it's safe for transfusion. The overhead filtration device allows us to do this on a mass scale. Some of the sessions do come in warm, um, but they may have been taken not that long beforehand. Do you not think that's a bit weird? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's all going to save a life, so that's all you have to think about at the end of the day. So this work area here is called a pod. It's where most of the red cells are made at Filton. Um, it works in a flow system, so the units come in one end and it moves around the pod and comes out at the other end. Uh, this is the start of the process. Um, the units get batched into a computer system which enables us to trace where they are at any given moment in time, which is extremely important. Um, it then goes into a centrifuge, which spins the units really fast, enable us to separate the red cells from the plasma. This is obviously what it looks like before it goes into the centrifuge. As you can see, the plasma and the red cells are mixed and it's all very red. And I'll show you now what it looks like when it comes out of the centrifuge. As you can see, the red cells are now being pushed to the bottom of the bag with the plasma at the top. It then goes onto this piece of equipment here, which is an optopress. This allows us to um, separate the plasma from the red cells by pushing the two plates together and squashing the blood pack into it. So we then have two products on the press. We have a plasma-based product, so it could be FFP or cryoprecipitate, and the red cells at the bottom. So when they're removed from the optopress, we hang them onto this piece of equipment called a Luca cart. We then add in this additive solution which extends the life of the red cells and keeps them happy because we've removed all of the plasma. As you can see, this is now what they look like. The additive solution at the top and the red cells at the bottom. So we give them a little bit of a shake just to mix them before removing the top bag from the final pack. This is what the pack will look like now we've removed the additive solution bag. And we still need to label it by this point, so I'll show you labeling a unit goes onto the scales and labelled like so. And then stick that on and confirm to the system that this barcode is readable, as you can see, before we then place them all into a crate and they get sent down the conveyor to go into four degree storage into the fridge. All of our red cells are kept at four degrees once they're produced. Um, they're kept here in one of our fridges um, till they are required by a hospital or by another blood centre and then they're issued out from here. 
I'm just going to show you a few of the products we make here at Filton. First of all, I'll start with the red cells. So as you can see by the label on the side, all the test results are in and it's been thoroughly tested and is now safe to transfuse to patients. Um, red cells are primarily used to treat patients who've had massive red cell loss, such as in surgery or childbirth or a massive trauma, and also other therapeutic uses, such as patients with sickle cell disease, to treat those. This is fresh frozen plasma, or as we call it, FFP. It's used to replace clotting factors and also to replace blood volume if they've been through a massive trauma. And this is platelets. They are used for patients who are immunocompromised, such as uh, leukemia, cancer patients, or patients who are receiving radiotherapy, um, and a huge benefit to those patients. Um, this is just a few of the products we make here at Filton.